So once we've mastered bridges and clams and our, and our initiated stable, stabilization exercises for the hip and we feel like we have good control of our glutes uh, and, and control of whether or not we're using our back or our hamstrings or um, just the glutes, we want to progress that. We want to try and build that up. So one way to progress that would, of course, be to add load weights to the bridge. Another way to kind of progress the pattern would be to go to a single leg component of the, of the bridge, so a single leg bridge. So a single leg bridge is going to be the same as a bridge, all the same cues that you had before, all glute heels, uh, very little to some, but very little hamstrings, 10-20% max. Uh, no low back, still a rule. Uh, and the same, same things about the getting to the point where you can do it without the cues, but you still can use cues with this if you need to help get that gluteal activation. So one cue you can use, again those hands pressing into the floor is always a good one to kind of help you get that lift and that trunk stability as you're going up into the air. Another cue that I use, you can use the band. I find that that's a little more uncomfortable having the band be on the one leg that's on the ground while the other one's in the air. That angle of the band is a little more uncomfortable and a little more uh, to mess with. So what I prefer to do is I prefer to have myself up against the wall and now that allows me to uh, press the bent knee into the wall to kind of get that external rotation, that outward pushing cue. By getting that external rotation cue, you cue the glutes to activate again. You press up towards the ceiling. It gives you a better engagement of those glutes. You do the same thing you were doing before. I don't make people do 50 repetitions or those that same high level of repetition with a single leg bridge. I'm looking more like a uh, 20 to 30, really 25 to 30 is my target number normally um, for a single leg bridge where you feel like you had full access to the glutes. Again, when you first try doing this, if you notice that you really can't get out of the hamstrings, you can't do it without getting a cramp in the hamstring, you can't do it without feeling like your back jumps in, it just feels too hard and you're looking for some way to kind of get between the regular bridge and a single leg bridge, that's where throwing weights into the regular bridge is a, is a good way to kind of build the strength in the glutes so that it can handle the added weight of taking all of that on one leg. Because uh, when you think about it, you are doubling the load uh, by going from double to single leg. So sometimes that's just too big of a jump for some people. So loading the regular bridge and building up some strength for a few weeks uh, can help with that progression to the single leg bridge. But if you can get to the single leg bridge uh, quicker, that's great. Um, trying to Go up, down, same thing, up to about 30 repetitions, all glute, each side. Uh, and then once you're able to do that, same rules apply. You can then think to add weight to it to start strengthening the glutes individually. Once I've added weight, now I've entered the, the workout world where I'm doing three sets of six to eight to really load that glute and make it get stronger, make it work harder to build up strength.